Are you putting your shoes on? You ready for school? I think that's the wrong foot though. But good job, those are so cute. Those are your new Crocs that are already <laughs> dirty. Here, let's just switch feet. And I've got her lunch here. Let's see, we've got, I should have showed you guys this, but what's this? We put in here, they have to have something for the activity for the letter Y. So we put a yellow purse in there. I know you guys can't see it, but um, I really don't have time to take it out. But for lunch today, Paisley is having some green grapes, her plum organics peach banana apricot pouch and some Quaker oatmeal squares with a hint of brown sugar. And look how cute this is. This is one of her activities that she did at school. It's one of the C activities, but this is what they do with their letter every week. I'm trying to pull down an example. Here is the letter W, so they made a watermelon with some seeds. I'm gonna pull another one out. Here is the most recent one is her X. So I guess this is an X-ray. Um, so this is what they do, but yeah, we're about to head out because it's 1132 and she has to be at school by 1140. Oh my gosh, that was like the most intense 10 minutes of my life. It normally is like that every single day, Monday through Friday, hence the reason I haven't had a moment to vlog in so long, but um, we literally left the house. I pulled out of the driveway. It was 1137 and we pulled up to the school at 1139. That's the only reason... I was even filming, you know, the getting Paisley ready that if you even want to call it that, like that wasn't even a proper getting her ready for school. That was just, um, oh, by the way, this is what I put in her lunch. This is what she's doing. We're about to head out. Um, but normally we walk to school because it's literally across the street um, from us. It's like we live on this street and then over here is the school. So it literally takes about mm, seven minutes to walk um, at just like a regular pace. Um, so usually every day we walk to and from and gosh, it's just been raining off and on yesterday. It literally was raining off and on within minutes. So um, I didn't want to get caught out in the rain. Um, this is literally the first day I've actually done a face, you know, done something to my hair. My hair is in this like weird in between stage of growing from like the short cut that I had it to like longer. So it's just strained. I don't like it. I really want to go get a haircut this week. I really want like a bob up to here. I used to have long hair. I used to wear extensions. And so maybe that's why I was a little bit more patient with my hair, but maybe I should go back to wearing extensions because it was just so much easier to just go. I really didn't have to do a whole lot to my hair when I had extensions. If I wanted to wear it in like a messy bun, I could, it looked cute. Or if I wanted to wear it down, I had curls. So I don't know, but I kind of want to cut. Then if I get it cut, that means I can't just throw it back into a ponytail or a bun, which is what I've been doing for like a month straight. But maybe that's a good thing. It'll force me to, um, to keep my hair looking great because when I work out and go swimming, you know, it's just, you're just so busy with it and I just really don't want to fuss with it all day. But anyway, enough of that. Welcome back guys. I'm so very sorry. I have been MIA for like a month now. Um, I'm going to get Avery and we're going to go in the house. Poor Avery. She's the kid who just naps on the go. I wasn't going to put her down until we got back just now. It's 1148. We've been sitting in the driveway for a few minutes. I was just taking a breather and I wasn't going to put her down for her nap until now, but she woke up quasi early. So she was kind of ready. We were hanging out upstairs while Paisley was doing her ABA therapy downstairs and like 945. I thought it was like 1030 for sure. And it was only 945 and she was rubbing her eyes. She was so tired. So she needed to go down for a nap and I honestly just was upstairs I went to the guest room and I just turned on the TV sprawl out across the bed and just watched some um, documentaries on Netflix so um, but poor Avery I she has to find time to nap whenever you know I try to like be consistent with it so if we go to the gym in the mornings, I try to just make sure she naps every single day while Paisley is at school. So at least she'll get a solid two hours, which is normally the case. We've been really good about it. That's why I haven't really gone anywhere, done anything. Haven't had time to vlog. Um, but so she got like an hour, an hour and a half, a solid hour and a half today um, for now. And I know she'll take an afternoon nap, so that'll be good. But um, 
let's go in the house and I'll catch you guys all up to speed on everything that's been going on. But before I get down to business, I need some lunch and I'm feeling this because I have just worked so hard on, you know, eating clean and working out. So this is just a little leftovers from Memorial Weekend. I have some grilled chicken here with a little bit of barbecue sauce. I have this red skin potato salad, just um, literally a spoonful. Um, I really like it because it has the dill flavor. And then here's some yellow mustard potato salad, just a spoonful as well. And then here are some baked beans with ground beef that my friend um, so graciously brought over to share with us. Um, so normally I don't eat like this for lunch or even for dinner, but I'm just really feeling it today. And it's just such a busy day. So I'm going to indulge a little bit. This is so good. You know what this reminds me of? Texas Roadhouse. I was just sitting here eating and I was like, this is so delicious. It totally reminds me of Texas Roadhouse and their grilled chicken with barbecue. That's one of the more healthier options on the menu. But this is just like a, you know, a Southern cuisine here that I've got. So mm, just made me really want to go to Texas Roadhouse. Okay, guys, story time. Okay, so... To catch you guys up to speed on what is going on with us. Um, so, if you guys remember a vlog that I filmed way back when in January, I told you we had some exciting news that we were going to be moving to Korea. My husband was getting stationed at um, Camp Humphreys and was going to be taking um, a command position over in Korea. And so, we had known about that for about a year. And um, at first I was not excited to go just because, I mean, it was so far away from everything that we've ever known. My kids would be far away from family. I was going to be far away from, you know, family and friends. I knew I was going to make new friends. But um, finally I was really excited. I got pumped to go and I was like, this is going to be a great adventure. I even bought a stroller just to travel with. Um, and then we found out just a few few weeks later, actually the day of Paisley's birthday, on Paisley's birthday, they came back and told us that that was a no, we would not be moving to Korea. And here is why, because Paisley is autistic. And um, not just because she's autistic, but because they don't have the services available that she does need to thrive. And so anytime any member of your family has a special need, whether, you know, there's an individual with autism or a family member with cancer or um, severe allergies or um, they just might need a speech therapy anything that where they have a special need your family um, that person is required to be entered into the EFMP which um, stands for exceptional family member program in, um, in the army and so what that does is it is a documented system um, within you know the army that um, there's this person that has special needs and that they must have XYZ in order to thrive and live a healthy life and um, so what the um, I guess head honchos if you will and EFMP will do is kind of go before you and research everything and literally make sure everything is in place for every single member of your family. And I mean, I had to get checked. We all had to have extensive physicals. I mean, nothing could be wrong with any of us before we got the okay to go. Well, whoever told us yes um, was the wrong person and we were not supposed to be told yes. So um, what they were lacking, they have plenty of um, speech therapists over in Korea. Um, affiliated with the Army, it's just that they did not have any ABA services available that the Army works with. So therefore, because ABA is such an extensive therapy that she does need every single day, Monday through Friday, they denied us. Um, so what? where did that leave us? Okay, so um, Will got the option to defer, um, to either defer, which means to just kind of give up your position and just to be placed and say, do with do with me what you will and so um sorry guys my battery is running low here i'm going to try to finish this up in a timely manner so um yeah will just said do with me what you will and i he had the option of going without us though we would have had to remain here for two years because it was a two-year assignment and 
I thought long and hard about it and so did Will and he just was not okay with the idea of leaving his family behind. He's like, it's a very long time. You know, a lot can change in two years. Kids change and he just did not want to put that wedge between our family. So, um, you know, in hindsight, it is a good idea. But then again, um, now we have to figure out a different plan. And so um, what is happening now is that we actually got stationed at Fort Eustis, Virginia. Now, this is a good thing because Fort Eustis, Virginia is on the edge of Williamsburg. And if you know anything about Virginia, Williamsburg um, is home of Colonial Williamsburg and Bush Gardens Williamsburg and Water Country USA and Great Wolf Lodge. So many amazing outlet stores. And of course, Virginia Beach is just a hop, skip, and a jump down the road. Now this is exciting for us because my mom is from that area. So I kind of essentially grew up in the summertime and holidays and weekends. So we have a ton of family there in the Fort Eustis area. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but at the same time, I'm really, really sad to leave Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg is home to me. It just, in my heart, it feels like home. Look, I've got like the Carolina logo. <laughs> this is like for the Carolinas. Um, Carolina is just home to me. This is where we began. Our story began here. Um, even though we got married in Virginia because I'm from there. Um, you know, we moved here. I moved here and I moved into a house with Will, a house that he bought and we created a home and you know we were pregnant with our first baby and we just have so many memories um you know finding out we were pregnant with the first baby and having a gender reveal and going to so many appointments at Womack and um yeah so there's just so many great memories here our second daughter was born here i just feel really attached now i know people move in the military all the time so um, it's not that big of a deal, but for me, this is my very first PCS as a military spouse. So I am just sentimental about it. I am so, so sad, but I'm so excited for the journey ahead. Like I said, we're going to be going home essentially. I'll be much closer to, um, my family. I'll have family literally just 10, 20 minutes up the road. My best friend Louisa will only be two, two and a half hours away. So instead of a five hour drive, um, we could literally meet up for day trips. And of course, we've got everything right there. I mean, we've already got seasons passes to Bush Gardens of Water Country USA. And we're going to be going to Colonial a lot and Virginia Beach a lot. So that's exciting. And um, I mean, of course, now Fort Bragg is just a little bit um, limited to what we have in Fayetteville and Fort Bragg. So like there's no Whole Foods. I literally have to drive to Raleigh to go to a Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. And now we're gonna have one literally down the street, everything that you could ever imagine, Whole Foods, Fresh Market, P.F. Chang's, I mean, amazing restaurants that you just would have to go pretty far around here to find. So, I mean, that's really exciting, but again, it just doesn't take the, the place of the comfort and the feeling of home here. Um, I'm really just gonna miss it. So that's what's been going on. We've just been trying to do planning. So we're heading to Fort Eustis in literally two weeks. Um, the Packers are gonna come two weeks from, uh, they're coming, I don't know, June 11th, and they're packing us up June 11th, 12th, and then we're out of here. So I cannot believe it. It's just, we're just a mere two weeks away. So I'm really excited, but sad. I mean, I just almost feel like I wanna hurry up and rip this Band-Aid off because Prolonging it is really sad, but then going too fast is really sad. So, um, but what that means for us, Paisley's therapist, who I love, Paisley actually adores her. I adore her. She, um, she's going to have to say goodbye. And that's going to be probably the hardest thing that we're going to have to do is the care that Paisley receives. Like we were thrown into the world of autism, you know, just less than a year ago um, when she was first diagnosed back in August. And so, I mean, this was like the first real step forward that we've taken to getting her the appropriate um, interventions, early interventions that she needs. And we've, you know, built these amazing bonds with these individuals and it just, it sucks. I mean, I know it's life, but it sucks when you have to say goodbye. So um, she loves her school. I love it. It's right here across the street. But not only that, the teachers are amazing. And Paisley genuinely loves to go to school. And so 
it's just, it's nerve wracking. It's sad. It's really hard to, I don't know, have to just, we have to, you know, redo everything. And we've already had, you know, a company in place, an ABA company for Paisley. So it's not like we're walking blindly. We've had to set everything up before we were even approved to go to Fort Eustis. So she's, um, we already have signed with a company to receive care for Paisley. So once we get home and settled in Virginia, um, her therapist will be coming out and supervisor and will be meeting with us, talking to us, um, kind of getting to know Paisley a little bit. And we'll have to, you know, find a new school for her because unfortunately, for some reason, the school on post, we're going to be living on post, is not a DOD school. Weird. Um, so Paisley can't go because, you know, the laws of pre-K, they have to be four. Um, and she's three. So... Um, we're gonna have to find a school for her but I know it's gonna work out I know it's fine I know the plans and the path have been laid before us it's just it's so hard when you actually are faced with this and I know this is the first of probably many goodbyes but this is gonna be the hardest one because it is the first goodbye um, for us as a military family um, not for Will he's done this several times but it's gonna be the first goodbye for us as a whole saying goodbye to the very first home that we knew as a military family, the very first home my kids knew. I mean, I would always love going to appointments. It sounds silly, but I love going to doctor's appointments just because I can just reminisce the day they were born and when I came to the hospital and leaving the hospital and I just have so many memories attached to Fort Bragg itself. So I think that's gonna be hard, but Lord willing, you know, he'll bring us back here. I don't know why I have such a an attachment to this place, but I do. Um, so, that's just gonna be really difficult. I know any move after this, I mean, I'm sure it's not gonna be as difficult. I mean, I'm sure saying goodbye is never fun, but this is a tough one. So yeah, that's it guys. So that's the big news, that's the big life update. We're moving, but we're not moving to Korea anymore. We're staying stateside. We're going to Fort Eustis, Virginia. So um, I'm gonna be vlogging a lot this summer. I'm definitely gonna be vlogging, uh, you know, before the movers get here and when they do come and pack us up and move us and I'll be vlogging so many adventures in our new home and in a new state well not a new state for me it's going home Virginia is my home state so um, but yeah we're gonna have a very busy summer but um, thank you guys for bearing with me sorry it took me so long to film this I've literally just been crazy busy school's about to end so I guess that's good because it'll give me a breather but only for a short while because then we have to move and then it's, you know, we're going to have fun activities to do every day. So, um, yeah, this is it. I mean, just spending the last couple weeks here in our house. Um, and so we're going to be um, seeing lots of friends this over the next couple of weeks and um, saying goodbye and um, just kind of driving all over the Fort Bragg Fayetteville area and I'm gonna go to all my favorite restaurants and all of um, the places I've wanted to try and things that I've always wanted to do. Um, so I can just kind of say goodbye. But I will be coming back. It's not like this is the last time I'm gonna be, you know, at Fort Bragg for a while. I've got really good friends here. I've, um, my hairstylist is here and I love her. I can't wait to get my hair done actually. So, um, I mean, I'm still gonna come back at least once every, two or three months um, to visit friends and um, say hello. So this won't be it, but um, yeah, so stay tuned guys. Um, we've got a big move coming ahead. Um, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a beat and we will see you later. Bye.